Hey guys, this is what you're going to be doing for the piano lead lines on Sons and Daughters by North Point Inside Out. Um, so they have two separate versions of this song. One is a guy-led version and it's in the key of G. But I'm going to be showing you what you're doing in the lead, um, or sorry, in the female lead version of the song. And that's in the key of D. Um, so this one is very, very acoustic, very stripped down. Um, so it's mainly just acoustic guitar throughout most of the song. Um, but there are a few piano lead lines that come in. And it's just very light. It's very reverby. I have my um, keyboard set on uh, the early 70s setting there. Um, just because I feel like that'll be really cool. But if not, you can just have it on a regular piano setting and just turn the reverb way up. Because <laughs> that's what it sounds like in the recording. Um, so there's actually two lead lines that happen just very lightly and they happen in the intros and they happen in the verses. The rest of the song, if you are playing at all, you're just doing very light chord changes. And so I don't, I don't think I need to show you that, all of that, but I'm mainly going to show you the lead lines and how they interact with the chord changes as well. So I think in the song itself, actually, when you hear the lead lines, it might just be the lead line by itself, but I'm going to show you what it looks like if you add the actual chord on the left hand with it um, and what that looks like. So the lead line that you hear in the intro, I'm just going to show you what the notes are first and then show you like how it, how it goes. So it's, okay, so it's D, C sharp, A, B, A, back to A, and then F sharp. Okay, and then, so basically what you're doing is you're doing octaves, but then you're <laughs> raising it up. So you can't see it on this video, but it's this high. Okay? And that is happening with the chord changes B minor, G, and D. So I'm just doing the one and the five of those chords. This is kind of how they interact together. All right, so you can see that the, it's like a little bit of a syncopated rhythm. Like when you hit this F sharp, it's like like the D chord hits like right after it. So just be paying attention to that. And then it repeats. And this is where the second lead line comes in. So these happen in the verses. Um, the lead line is very similar to the intro. It's just a little bit different. So it just goes. So again, it's a very syncopated rhythm with the beat, but, um, and then it happens just whenever you hit the G chord. Um, so after that, for he spoke creation, happens like twice within each verse and then once it goes after the chorus goes through and then it does the intro again you do the same intro so I'm just gonna play it from the beginning and show you um, how this goes with the recording of the song
light chord changes again. that's it it's just chords from there on I would just then maybe build it up a little bit bigger for the instrumental into the bridges and then in for that last chorus just kind of build it in a little bit bigger there but for the rest of the time it's just chord changes so um, yeah those are the only two lead lines that happen they happen in the intros and the verses again um, if you have any questions please drop them in the comments and I hope that this helps <laughs>